So we are seeing the intensifying of the war continue to happen in the Middle East, and we are watching the United States attack Syria after they were attacked by drones. Well, let's watch this clip. Just carried out airstrikes in eastern Syria against Houthi groups after they shot down a U.S. drone. So we want to get to Jennifer Griffin. This just broke. Uh, you have more for us, Jennifer? Uh, Dana, this was uh, what I can say is that U.S. military sources tell us that uh, the U.S. military has carried out airstrikes in eastern Syria. It wouldn't have been against Houthi forces, but against Iranian-backed proxies who have been firing rockets and drones onto U.S. bases. Forty-one attacks on U.S. troops and bases since October 17th. Uh, we're getting more details now, but these airstrikes uh, were carried out, we're told, just moments ago. They're just getting the bomb damage assessment. We don't know how many locations, but you can, uh, if based on the last air pair of airstrikes on October 26, uh, the U.S. Was, would likely be targeting unmanned uh, warehouses, storage facilities. The question is, how many of those Iranian-backed uh, proxy bases uh, will they have targeted tonight? Will they have used F-16s, F-15s? As we reported earlier, just about an hour or two ago, uh, an MQ-9 Reaper was shot down over the Red Sea by Houthi forces in Yemen. So far, we do not have any word of any retaliatory strike by the U.S. military at this time, but this is new and breaking as we speak, uh, Dana, based on uh, senior U.S. military sources. So as you see the attacks on Syria happen by the United States, we are in this war, whether people want to believe it or not, and this is all written, and this will almost come to pass. Let's keep watching because the signs keep growing and the birth pains continue to grow. God bless you all. I love you all.